Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a overview of Firefox 4 Beta 2, a uh, much anticipated browser, um, considering how long it is since Firefox updated uh, 3 to its new interface and you know all those new features they brought out back then. Uh, I uploaded a Chrome video yesterday as part of this series. Um, but there was a problem with something I did during that video and there was a lot of silly comments about it so I decided to pull that one and I'm going to be doing a new Chrome video tomorrow so look out for that ok let's get straight into it with Firefox 4 as you can see the first thing is the interface has changed a considerable amount the tabs are now on top and the uh, the main bar looks very different and you now have the Firefox button up here rather than the normal file and help etc buttons all the way up here. Just to give you a brief idea of how much it's changed, here is a screenshot of Firefox 3 in Windows Vista. Unfortunately this is the best sort of thing I could get but it's closest I could get. It's sort of full scale so you can see how chunky this is compared to this new plain and simple interface we have up here. I'm quite liking the look of the new buttons, the new sort of layout the buttons look a lot nicer when they have the boxes around them and the shadows rather than the plain effects they were going for here and the tabs make more sense along the top because it saves space and I just find it easier and I'm used to it because I use Google Chrome as my main browser the only thing I don't like about this new interface is the Firefox button up here the orange colour can be slightly distracting when you're looking at websites although you do get used to it after a while there is also an extension for Firefox which enables this button to turn transparent or blue which is less of a leery colour and enables you to have a better browsing experience but I think you should be able to change this as standard because it's a very distracting when you first use it as far as the menu is concerned it's very simple most used menu we have the history here we have customization options help and exit and all the print features up here it's pretty much a replacement for the file buttons like I said like here one thing also I don't like about the design is the tabs could have been at the very top there's a lot of empty space right up the top here by the Firefox button and the standard Windows buttons there's a lot of empty transparency going on here and if you don't have the patch it looks a bit silly without it being transparent with just the black sort of glass foot look I much prefer the uh, looking chrome where the tabs are at the very top because it saves space and means you don't have to stare at that large space it's not really there for any particular reason so that pretty much covers the user interface the feedback button won't be here in the uh, future builds because it's this is just a thing that's, that they do in the uh, in the test versions of Firefox also another thing I like is the uh, the blue highlight as you, as you um, hover over the buttons they've done similar things in previous versions of Firefox but this is nice because it's already outlined and stuff you can also see your uh, the tabs you have open by clicking here if you have a lot of tabs the tabs sort of work a lot like Firefox but let's run through now some of the features of Firefox 4 so the new tab location obviously switch to tab also which is a function you can use from the address bar or the awesome bar as they like to call it the Firefox button which I've already covered and app tabs this is a very interesting one because if you visit a website often say like I used in the previous video Engadget if I visit this site often and I want to come back to it I could right click it and press make into an app tab it's now a tiny little tab over in the corner which I can come back to any time I want let's do one more so now as I'm having my everyday browsing experience I can then come straight back to these tabs which are over here if I want to check back on them which is very handy because when I'm browsing in Chrome I usually have so many tabs open at least 10 tabs open and most of them I want to come back to later or they're just something that's always there so the one thing that I would like in Google Chrome is this feature I think this is a very nice addition to have the application tabs uh, a few of the other features are outlined here WebM and HD video 
pioneers of HTML5 video standards, which is very good because obviously YouTube is supporting more HTML5 and WebM formats now. It says that Firefox 4 is especially great with HD video, and there is a new add-ons manager as well. There's a few other things that it talks about here, and one of the more interesting ones is CSS3 support which is good. CSS3 is quite impressive. It's obviously one of the new formats replacing CSS2 uh, you know that's um, sort of going alongside HTML5 as one of the new web standards. Uh, that's pretty much it but there's one thing else I want to cover and that is the new tab. When you open a new tab in Firefox there is still nothing here. It's just blank you have to go up here and Google something or go to a website, that is fair enough. But say I'm in Google Chrome now. If I open a new tab, I get this screen where I can see all of my most visited sites. You get the same thing in Safari now as well and in multiple other, other browsers. So I'd like to see something similar to this website when you open a new tab in Firefox because this is a very bland and plain page and I don't necessarily want to have to Google everything again. Then again, also, mo my most visited sites could also be made into app tabs, so there are two sides to this story. So that's pretty much it, my quick overview of Firefox 4 Beta 2. Thanks for watching, and look forward to more videos on Browser Wars coming up.